Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Presbyopia. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The term Presbus means old man, Opia means eye. So Presbyopia literally means eye of an old man. Presbyopia is not an error of refraction but a condition of physiological insufficiency of accommodation leading to a progressive fall in near vision. It is a condition associated with aging of the eye that results in progressively worsening ability to focus clearly on close objects. Now let us see about the pathophysiology of presbyopia. The near point of vision that is the punctum proximum increases with age. Subsequently the amplitude of accommodation decreases with age. After the age of 40 years the near point of vision recedes beyond the normal reading or working range. This condition of failing near vision due to age related decrease in the amplitude of accommodation or increase in punctum proximum is called presbyopia. This picture depicts presbyopia. This is a normal eye and this is a presbyopic eye. In presbyopia the lens is less flexible so the focal point is behind the retina. That is, the lens ages and stiffens, bringing the focal point behind the retina and causing blurry vision. Normally, the focal point is on the retina because the lens is usually flexible. Now, let us see about the causes of presbyopia. Presbyopia is due to age related changes in the lens, like decreased elasticity of lens capsule and increased size and hardness of lens. This causes the lens to be less easily molded. Age related decline in ciliary muscle power can also lead to presbyopia. What are the risk factors for premature presbyopia? Uncorrected hypermetropia, premature sclerosis of crystalline lens, general debility causing presenile weakness of ciliary muscle and chronic simple glaucoma can lead to the development of presbyopia at an earlier age. Now what are the symptoms of presbyopia? Difficulty in near vision is the hallmark of presbyopia. The patient will complain of difficulty in reading small prints, difficulty in threading a needle and having to hold a reading material farther away to see clearly. There can be asthenopic symptoms like headaches and eye strain. The patient can also complain of intermittent diplopia. This is how small print appears to a patient with presbyopia. You can see the prints are blurred. This is how a patient with presbyopia tends to read. He tends to keep the reading material far away from his eyes. Now let us see about the treatment of presbyopia. Optical treatment is the treatment of choice. Convex lenses should be used for near work. First we have to correct the refractive error for distance. Then we have to find the presbyopic correction needed in each eye separately and add it to the distant correction. Near point should be fixed by taking due consideration for profession of the patient. The weakest convex lens with which an individual can see clearly at the point, I mean at the near point should be prescribed. This is done to avoid overcorrection. Depending on the patient, unifocal or multifocal or varifocal spectacles can be used. Surgical treatment of presbyopia is still under trial. Thank you.